Hello and welcome to Clashing of Steel. So today I'm countering Vengeance. If you don't know what Vengeance is, it's Commander Germanicus's third ability. It's one of the strongest engagement abilities in the game. It gives you 50% damage and 50% attack boost, at least until you remain in combat. If the unit is out of combat for 10 seconds, it will wear off and can't be used for around 5 minutes. Remaining in combat against uh, Germanicus when he's using Vengeance can often be a suicide, even for the Spearmen. So first, let's see what Vengeance can do to a single unit. Somehow, luckily, I got this video where one of my units gets wrecked and uh, two of my units, uh, well, survive, because the opponent pulls away after I deploy stakes. So, you can already see that the opponent has activated Vengeance. He's uh, actually doing a lot more damage than I am. I think that unit has active a prescription. Yeah, my unit has an active prescription and is just trying to hold them at bay. He's gonna lose a lot of its uh, HP or the troops HP pretty soon because both units are in there and I think they both have Vengeance active. And also the form combat adds a bit of damage, I guess. So anyways, let's skip to this and ain't no point in seeing how this unit gets wrecked. Now my unit is practically dead, opponents have lost some of their HP or unit health. And they aren't actually advancing, so let's take a look at the score. It's not gonna be pretty. So, as you can see I am Commander Sala, I lost uh, 99 men, killed 22. And on my opposite side is Germanicus, who killed 98 of my men and lost 22 of his own. And now on to countering Vengeance. It's the same commander that killed one of my units, I've been chasing him across all the map practically. And right now he's trying to cap. So, in a moment I will engage him. I think the catapult, no he didn't do it. Oh, he did, he did, great. So, his vengeance is ready and he's preparing to attack me. Right now I have enough uh, room to maneuver my troops. So, first unit goes in. Okay, first two units go in. And he seems to be moving away from me, from the other side. He's gonna activate Vengeance any moment now. Come on, activate it, man. Yeah, there it went. I actually want it to be active on all three Swordsman units. Because when I disengage, all of them will stay out of combat and I will no longer have to disengage. So, first two units had the Vengeance active. So the rear unit, or the unit back there, he activated it right now as well. So this is my cue to disengage. Although you can see my teammate here trying to flank them. He asked me what did I do or why did I leave to be more precise. I explained to him that we couldn't beat him head on battle with the vengeance. So I pulled back and well I guess you can say I left him to die. But well you got to make sacrifices to win the game because the situation is actually to their benefit. We are outnumbered and I probably have the healthiest troops or the most troops in my team. So, right now you saw me countering Vengeance. I disengaged from the battle. The Vengeance is still active because he was fighting those remnants. But it will go off in a matter of seconds. When fighting Germanicus, there often aren't many choices like you can counter him with archers, but uh, you might not have archers or your team might have positioned them at some other locations. You have to make do with what you have. You can't remain uh, fighting with them. Because that is pretty much a death sentence as I said before. You need to run away from them, you need to disengage or do a tactical retreat. You can just left click on your opponent's units to see what buffs or debuffs they have on them. So when you know it goes off, you can re-engage. If you're playing Romans yourself, before you disengage you should probably deactivate the formation or form combat, giving you a bit more speed than the opponents, because when they have form combat active their movement speed is reduced. And when you disable it and run away, he won't be able to catch up with you. Only scenario where he can catch up with you is when you're playing Armored Legionnaires and he's playing the le regular Legionnaires. Because Armored Legionnaires are very slow, even without form combat. In overall, I wouldn't suggest playing Armored Legionnaires unless you're planning to defend some of your archers or catapults or something. Because they're really slow and can be often late to a tactical situations. I'm not saying there aren't guys who can score like super scores with armored legionnaires, but uh, you must be against some really, really naive players in that case. 
So, as you saw in the background, without Vengeance, two of my units could uh, destroy three of those with practically minimal losses and still being very battle effective. If you're playing Germanicus yourself and actually want to play against uh, the players who try to, well, bait it out of you, you can do it so that you activate it on a single unit, not on all three units. That way you are countering his countering practically. You are forcing him to play getting out of vengeance on your terms. You don't have to use it the moment he engages, you can actually wait for 10 seconds or so and then activate it. And that time you are playing with him or he's playing with you, there's a lot that can change. There might be archers incoming to help you, there might be cavalry coming from behind them, there are many possibilities. But there might also be a situation where you're getting outflanked. So this was Countering Vengeance. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching!